so hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll cover problem d that was fixed point guessing from round 803 uh, and i also made a video on problem c three sum closure so you can also see that uh, on my channel yeah so let's start with the problem so in the problem we have been given an array of size n something like this a1 a2 up to a of n where the array is initially sorted so it is of form 1 2 3 so on till size uh, so on till n and we have been given that n is odd we have been given that n is odd and we split our array into n minus 1 by 2 pairs as we are splitting into pairs and and the size of the array is odd there will be obviously one element that will not be paired so i will assume that the index of that element is let's say k so element at, at index k will not be paired right and after pairing up the elements we swap the elements in the same pair so after pairing up the elements for example if i pair 1 and 3 and i pair 2 and n right so if if i uh, swap these i will get the new array as 3 and 1 as index uh, index k is not paired it will remain k and index n will be swapped with 2 So our new array will be something like this, and as the problem is interactive, we have to use some queries, and we we have to find the given index k. We have to use some queries and find the given index. K. So the queries of type, uh, the queries of type, uh, I can choose some range of indexes L to R, and it and it it will give me all the elements that are in the given range L to R in sorted order. For example, if my A range L to R has elements uh, A of A of L up to A of R. These are something like one, five, three, four, two. Then it will give me these five elements, but in sorted order. So it will give me one, two, three, four, and five as result of my query. And using this query fifteen times, that is, I can use this query at most fifteen times. I have to guess the index K. So how can I do that? Uh, and my size of n is around 10 to the power 4 n is around 10 to the power 4 obviously you can see the hint here as n is around 10 to the power 4 and number of queries are 15 and log of 10 to the power 4 is 15 you can easily get the hint that you have to use binary search you have to use binary search So let's see how, how so let's see how we can use binary search. So I will start with the whole array first. Right? Let's say it's our whole array, and our lower index will obviously be one, and our higher index will be equal to n, and our middle index will be one plus n by two. So I will so I will start the whole array and I will break the array into two parts and then I will try to find uh, which of my segments contain my fixed element. So how can I do that? Let's see. Uh, for now, let's assume that my segment one contains. Let's call this segment one and let's call this segment two. For now, assume that my segment one contains my fixed element k. So here it contains. My index k, and as we as we are forming pairs, there will be two kind of pairs: pairs that are starting in the same segment and ending in the same same segment, something like this. So let's call this uh, pairs of type one. So I will call them p one, and then there there are pairs that will start in the segment and end in segment two. So something like these. So, uh, if you think about pair pair one, then these are in the same segment, right? So, elements that are in this uh, that are in the uh, segment S one will be swapped in the segment itself. So, so our 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 pair one does not transfer element from segment one to segment two, right? And if you think about pair two, then it transfers element from segment one to segment two, right? So, if there are x pairs of type P one, 
then at least two x elements then at least two x elements will remain in same segment at least two x elements will remain in same segment right and as you can say uh, as you can see our k is fixed so obviously our k will also remain in the same segment so you can add an additional one here so you can add an additional one here for our element k right so 2x plus element will remain in the same segment and as our x is greater than or equal to 0 so our 2x plus 1 will always be odd right as 2x plus 1 is a standard odd number right so our odd number of elements will always remain in the same segment and if you try to think about the second segment that does not contain k if you think about this it will have some y numbers of uh, pair pair type 1 so it will contain 2y elements in the same segment and as 2y is even so in s2 even elements will remain in the same segment so using this you can differentiate in the segments that contains k and that does not contain k so your answer is obviously you can break your array into two segments that is s1 and s2 you can query on s1 Uh, if the number of elements that are in the same segment that are in the same segment is equal to odd same segment is equal to odd then you can say that yeah my k is in segment s1 otherwise if your elements in same segment elements i can write here elements in same segment are even then you can say no my k is not here but my k is in s2 and you can erase this s1 and then you, then you can update your low equal to and low and high equal to end points of s2 then you can find your new mid and do the same thing again so that's your how uh, that's how your binary search will operate yeah so that was a solution and if you want to see my code for this here it is so here i start with my low equal to 1 high equal to n that is i start with my whole array then i write my binary search while low is less than high uh, that is while size of my array is more than 1 so i uh, define my mid equal to low plus high by 2 i query on my low and mid and i get some value okay uh, so okay is the number of value that are contained in the same segment so i if you see my query here there is a range l to r i print out l and r and i take input uh, 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 the given range of elements then for every uh, given element x i check if it belongs in the given segment or not if it belongs in the given segment i update my variable result and in the end i i give back the number of elements that are uh, that belong to the given segment so now my okay contains the number of elements that are uh, that belong to the given segment then i check if okay and one that is uh, if the number of elements uh, in the given segment are odd so if i want to if i want to draw this out i start with s1 and s2 i always query on my lower segment that is i always query on s1 and i get the number of elements that are in the given segment are okay if okay is odd that is the k is in the segment s1 then i will erase my s2 and i will update my high equal to mid right so that is why i do so that is why i do high is equal to mid otherwise if number of elements in my s1 are even then i don't need s1 anymore then i will erase, then i will erase s1 and i will update my low equal to mid plus 1 right it's important to have a mid plus 1 here because in case you have an array of size 2 you can run into an infinite loop so like you need to think about ones and minus ones
so i updated my low equal to mid plus 1 and in the end i just print out my low yeah so that was the solution and if you guys have a doubt do let me know in the comments and i will be happy to help you out also if you guys don't know continue to school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over 6 months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think कि यार मेरे को भी कोडिंग आती नहीं है मे बी फ्रेशर मेरे को बिल्कुल नहीं आता है द कोर्स इज ओवर सिक्स मंथ लॉन्ग एंड दे विल टीच यू फ्राम स्क्रैच सो यू कैन स्टिल साइन अप फॉर दिस एंड इफ यू गाइज आर लुकिंग फॉर अ करियर इन द टेक फील्ड दिस इज अ वेरी दिस इज अ वेरी ग्रेट हेड स्टार्ट दैट यू शुड साइन अप फॉर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लैंड अ जॉब आई हाईली Uh, I highly vouch for this, and uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be link down below, and you can go and sign up from there. So, yeah, be sure to sign up for this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.